You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Robert Griffin III. As we know, RG3, well, he goes on his ex account and he gives some of the worst takes in the history of the planet. And he gave one not too long ago, about a week ago maybe, involving Caleb Williams. Now, he gave another one, absurd one yesterday. Hey, everybody in Chicago, paint your fingernails and start prancing around with a pink phone. And I'm talking to all you dudes out there working blue-collar jobs that are going to Bears games. Yeah, I have a feeling you won't be doing that. But as absurd as that take was... He had one that involved the actual team, and it really pissed the Chicago Bears off. And I don't know if you guys have seen that take, but that take was so bad that he may be staring directly at a demotion over it from ESPN. Uh, It's not often you see a general manager of an NFL team directly directly address a take from anybody in the media and say it pissed them off. But that's exactly what Ryan Poles, the Bears general manager, said. And we'll look at that video. But his job is in jeopardy, and this is everywhere right now. There's a lot of reports out there that he could be facing a demotion off of Monday Night Countdown. And at the same time, them obviously hiring a major upgrade with Jason Kelsey. So let's get to this. This is a Chicago sports website, shycitysports.com. In the sports media world, the most knowledgeable takes aren't always the most popular ones. It seems that nowadays, whatever can get clicks or views is really what sells. Well, that's that's the business. Hot takes are what is selling right now, and there seems to be almost no end in sight. However... Sometimes that isn't the best plan of attack. With social media being so prominent, clips are shared amongst millions within just a few minutes, and analysts are subject to criticism extremely early. One ESPN personality has been a hot topic of late, and that's former NFL quarterback Robert Griffin III, who recently made headlines about a rant about Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears. Now, in case you do not know... What that rant was, it was this. Robert Griffin III said Caleb Williams should pull an Eli Manning on the Bears. In other words, refuse to play for the Bears. Now, his take was this team was not set up to succeed for a rookie quarterback, which is one of the worst takes we've ever heard. Why? Because I can give Ryan Poles credit. He's done a shit ton on that offensive side of the ball to get ready for whatever rookie quarterback is coming in. In fact, it's one of the better offensive situations we've seen in years. That's why the take was was absurd. Never mind the fact I don't think any rookie quarterback should do that on any team. I mean, if any player had a leg to stand on, it was – Bryce Young last year going to Carolina that had absolutely nothing on offense. And we saw how that turned out. He looked terrible. Looked like a straight bust. Robert Griffin III wants Caleb Williams to do the same thing with the Chicago Bears who hold the top pick. Caleb Williams should pull an Eli Manning demand that the Chicago Bears do not draft him number one overall. After everything that's happened with just Justin Fields, can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what, this organization that has my best interests at heart, they're going to develop me into a player that I want to be. It should be noted, by the way, that the Bears just traded for Keenan Allen on a team that's got D.J. Moore as the other wide receiver. I mean, Keenan Allen was the WR1 for the Chargers. Now he's going to be the WR2 behind DJ Moore, and they got one of the top 10 or 12 tight ends in the league with Cole Komet. It's one of the best situations we've seen a quarterback come into in a long time, and he's telling him the Bears haven't done enough, that he should 
He should pull an Eli Manning. Eli Manning had the power in the 2024 draft, 2004 draft, and he let the Chargers know, don't draft me. I don't believe in the direction your organization is going, and I don't want to play there. Well, that didn't go over well. Ryan Poles was on the Pat McAfee show, and he answered this. Obviously, and we're lucky to be talk to a few GMs around the league, but like when RG3 comes out, mm-hmm. you heard it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what are your, what are you, like, don't you think like your particular Bears feels different than maybe the previous Bears? Like, that's how we feel outside looking yeah, in. It's yep. like, hey, this uh, is a brand new building almost. Does it feel like that in there? And obviously you weren't there beforehand, but does it feel like you and Eberflus's culture is kind Because of, at the end of the last season, right. it feels like, okay, the culture is kind of settling in, team settling in. You guys feel that, obviously? Yeah, that, it, it pisses me off a little bit, to be honest with you, because we were hired to break a cycle. Um, the same thing when I was in Kansas City. Uh, you heard what he said. Yeah, that pissed me off. And it's because they've done a lot of work there. Look, Eberflus aside, who I'm not a big fan of, to be quite frank, uh, I, I think they should have went all in to get to have gotten Harbaugh. Nonetheless, uh, Shane Waldron, that's a really good hire at offensive coordinator. It is. And so now, RG3 may be looking at a set-on-the-bench situation. So here we go, breaking RG3's job with ESPN for Monday Night Football is, quote, in jeopardy as the network is pursuing Jason Kelsey to replace him. Griffin III had been viewed as a rising star at the network but has since leveled off via The Athletic. That was from The Athletic. I mean, that's that's pretty wild now, I don't love the idea of, of demoting somebody because they didn't like one of the takes. I mean, it, to be honest with you, ESPN could demote everybody over bad takes that is on their entire network. Everybody gives a bad take. I've given 100 of them. I mean, uh, it is what it is. We're not going to always be right. But nonetheless, uh, they're looking at replacing him, and this is part of the reason. The fact that he came out and dogged out the Bears in just an absurd manner, telling, look, it should be noted, ESPN's got the NFL draft. And the Bears have the number one pick. And they think it's going to be Caleb Williams, which is supposed to be this all-time great prospect. That's the part you could argue. But nonetheless, RG3 may end up getting demoted over it. And replaced because he pissed off the Bears. I mean, my God, I will say this. ESPN, they've gotten rid of a lot of good talent, guys that I actually wanted to hear takes from. It was an an all-time bad take. RG3 got ratioed to hell for this take because of how the Bears have set this team up one of the best setups in recent years for any rookie quarterback that's come in. And then for him to go out there and be like, he should pull an Eli Manning. I don't agree with doing that to any team, regardless. I don't. You're getting drafted into the NFL. How about a little less entitlement? Go out there, work hard, prove everybody wrong. Go through some adversity. It's what's going to make or break this guy. I'm just saying. Tell me what you think. RG3 may be uh, riding the pine. Hey, you're doing uh, Division Three college football games. Good luck. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.